Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a brief video on neutralization reactions. Um, neutralization reactions take place between acids and bases, okay, and you always, always, always get salt and water. And we discussed in class once again that salt represents any ionic substance, okay, so it just doesn't mean NaCl, table salt that we use at home, it means any ionic substance represents a salt. Um, the neutralization equation can be broken down into three different parts, the molecular ionic and the net ionic. Um, over here, we have, on the left, we have some properties of acids and properties of bases, which you should know already. Um, they're electrolytes, okay, they conduct electricity, they cause change to certain um, indicators, in this case, litmus paper. Um, I think you had a lit, um, experience with litmus paper in living environments, acids, um, tend to have a sour taste, for example, citric acid in, in certain lemons and limes and like that. And um, they react with, uh, with each other, okay, in terms of a reaction called neutralization, which we'll look at in a second, okay. And we also discussed the fact that acids also react with active metals to liberate hydrogen. Um, in terms of um, these properties, you should memorize them. You should look at the similarities and the differences and um, go from there. Okay, moving on. Um, you can be given a reaction, folks, and you could be asked to break it down. You could be asked what's the final product. You could be asked any a number of things. But they all have one thing in common, which we'll look at in a second. For example, if you're given sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide, and you're asked to react them, okay, you first start to do the um, molecular equation. Okay, now one point of interest is that all um, neutralization reactions are double replacements. Okay, so we must remember that they're always going to be double replacements. So we're going to put sulfuric acid down, H2SO4, all right, and that's reacting with potassium hydroxide. Now, potassium hydroxide is simply KO. H. If you're not sure, you check your reference tables, your periodic tables. K has a plus one charge, and hydroxide has a OH is OH minus. So when you crisscross, you can simply get KOH. Now, as I said before, guys, um, these reactions, the neutralization reactions, are all double replacement. So what's going to happen is the K will replace the H's right here, and these H's will replace the K. Now some confusion starts to set in, right, because we have two H's going over to the OH, and then some folks want to say, okay, um, maybe it should be H3O or H4O. No, 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 no. You always, always, always get H2O. H2O is water, that's his formula, don't change it, okay? And another thing you should be careful of is the crisscross method, because when we exchange the K and the H's, we can write down KSO4, right, and think that's our salt, right? But we must be careful. We check the charges of K. We check the charges of sulfate. And if we check that carefully, we see that K has a plus one charge. Okay, K is plus positive one. And SO4, sulfate, which is on table E, has a minus two charge. SO4 minus two. Okay, let me squeeze it in there. Minus two. All right. So when you crisscross, you will get K2SO4 as your salt, and then we have to balance because we have one K on this side, and we have two Ks right here. So we're going to balance it. Okay. Now we're going to put a two in front here. Since we have two on the product side, we're going to put two in front of the K on the reactant side, so that takes care of the potassium, that takes care of the Ks. Now we look at it again, we see we have two hydrogens right here, we have two hydrogens right here, okay? And two plus two is four, we'll put two in front here to give us four hydrogens on both sides. And we take another look, we have one S and one S on each side, we have four oxygens here, and two oxygens right there, so that's six, we have four oxygens right there, another two right there, that's six, so this equation now is balanced. That's our molecular equation, H2SO4 plus 2KOH, giving us K2SO4, potassium sulfate, and water. Now, this will be our salt. That's our water. We always get water. The ionic equation now, remember we said we were going to separate Abby, right? A, 
B, and I, okay? The acid, the base, and the ionic compounds in this formula, in this equation. So what do we get? We get two H pluses, because remember we're dealing with acids, plus SO4 minus 2, plus 2K plus, I'm separating the base now, 2K plus, plus 2OH minuses. Now remember, this 2 right here, and from the KOH, it distributes right through. So we have 2Ks and 2 um, OHs. Okay, I'll use a different color. All right. Now that will give us, okay, on the, on the product side, 2K positives, all right, plus S. O four minus two plus water. Okay, two waters, two H two O's. We don't um, break apart. We don't ionize water in this situation. We leave it as is. But the acid, the base, and the ionic compound, they get ionized, and that's our ionic equation. And the last equation, okay, is going to be what's left over, our net. Now, um, I didn't mention this in class, guys, but the things that you can cancel, the like terms you can cancel on both sides are called the spectator ions. And what does a spectator do at a sporting event? Does he participate? No, he doesn't. He's just there looking on. Okay, so what happens is SO4, then SO4 is canceled. That's an example of a spectator ion. Um, 2K plus and 2K plus can be canceled. Those are other spectator ions. And what are we left with? We're left with 2H plus plus 2OH minus hydroxide arrow 2 H2O's, okay, two waters. Now, what we can do from there is simply reduce the twos, right? And we're overall left with H plus plus OH minus giving us water. When you do these um, equations, you will always be left with this equation, H plus plus OH minus giving us H2O, okay, and that's it for any neutralization reaction, we'll always get this as our final net ionic equation. As always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success, I hope this video is a help, take care, do well.